thinking back to when you first walked into Congress, what is the biggest difference between that day and where you are now? Uh, well, I think the big, biggest difference is that it's much more of a two-party competitive uh, Congress. Uh, when I was elected in 1979, it's a long time ago, we'd had uh, really uh, Democratic majorities in the uh, Congress and certainly in the House of Representatives with only f f two exceptions since 1930. And uh, those two exceptions was a very narrow Republican margin only for two years and then it reverted. So uh, it, it was a, 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 a little different atmosphere. Uh, also there was a kind of a coalition uh, between uh, Southern Democrats and Republicans. And that's ch changed. There were a lot of changes in the political dynamics uh, uh, surrounding the Congress. The thing that hasn't changed is that, uh, in fact, it's, I think, even more, uh, there's a lot of turnover. People talk a lot about term, term limits, and I guess I'm an example. I, I would have been out there a, a long time ago if there were, were term limits. But uh, the majority of members of the U.S. Senate of the 100 uh, over half are in their first term. Uh, in the Congress, there's 78 uh, or so new members, and that's the case almost every two years. So uh, the majority, large majority of congressmen have only been there uh, for two or three terms. So there's a lot of churning, and it's been my contention that sometimes it's a good idea to have a mix of a few people that uh, they can't dominate the thing or make it, make it uh, uh, kind of buddy-duddy, but uh, do, who do have institutional memory and have been through some of the problems that recur and can say, well, this might work or that didn't. We tried that already and it didn't work. Uh, so I think a mix is, is actually a good thing. All right. Wh what else do you think, I mean, would you say politics right now in D.C. are, are divisive and, and do you think that that, that is going to continue or how will that change? Well, the, of course, there is a li well, it's, it's so contentious. I think part of that is that the communications have ch changed and become much more in, uh, 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 available. Uh, before we didn't, ha we're, things weren't televised, so if someone's yelling at someone else, uh, you weren't quite as aware of it as you, you might be now. Uh, but uh, I think that the reason that you have a, a Congress is partly to, to uh, resolve differences and, and to make decisions even when people disagree if it's necessary to do. And uh, it's a contentious process by the nature of it because if it, it wouldn't be an issue if people didn't have a, a different views. And I don't think myself it's become particularly more contentious. Uh, anyone who knows much about American history going back certainly to the founding and this hu huge period of contention leading up to our Civil War knows that it's been much worse at other periods in American history than it, than it is now. Most members in both parties are there because they, they have the best of intentions. They want to to do what they can to make the world a better place. The only thing is that they have different constituencies and they have different ideas of, of uh, which direction we should go on one issue or, or another. But they do look, particularly on the committees, for opportunities to work together. And uh, that's certainly been true on the committees on which I serve.